Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanchika and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon. Today I will be showing you this very pretty emerald green makeup look and this is very easy to create. I took around 25 to 30 minutes, took my own sweet time while filming as well and created this very pretty look. I have also applied falsies. It's not that visible because I wanted to look it very natural so I only applied it on the outer corner and that's it. Some jewelry and also I'll show you what new products I have been using and testing them out and I'm loving my makeup routine right now. The base also looks good. It's not cakey, not too heavy and I can style it in the day and night both. So let's get started quickly towards the video. Okay, so before getting into makeup, it's always so important to prep your skin and now that summers are here, oily skin issues are on the peak. Oily skin people, you know, tend to find products which doesn't make their skin look dry but also removes excess sebum and oil production from their face. But using products with calamine can lead your skin dry and patchy. So I have been trying out these two products from the Dermaco range. This is the new uh, Hyla Calamine uh, you know, range wherein you get a face wash and also a face lotion. First of all, I go in with oil control face wash. It has 1% of calamine. 1% hyaluronic acid complex and niacinamide. You know all these three ingredients are so good for the skin. So this is how the packaging looks like and it comes with a very easy, you know, uh, tube bottle which I love about Dermaco. Is you can take a little bit on your hand. It does have like a pink texture to it due to calamine. I apply the face wash on the face before starting off with makeup. After cleansing, my face does feel very, very clean and also not dry at all, which I'm really surprised. And then I go ahead and use this 6% matte face lotion from the Dermaco. It has 5% calamine, 1% hyaluronic acid and 3% niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid is great for hydration. Then calamine is great to dry out and... Uh, the calamine is great to you know remove excess oil and also it does have antibacterial properties again niacinamide is good for your skin it makes your skin look more brighter and also helps in open pores so this is how the texture of so this is how the texture looks like again it looks a little bit of pink because of the calamine i take some on my hand and then apply gently on the face it does contain spf 20 so it gives you protection against uva and uvb rays as well and leaves your skin well hydrated and also if you have redness then it will cover that up i really like the texture it does feel hydrating and also my t-zone feels you know very very good it doesn't feel oily at all on my skin so it's a great pick for summers you can use my code vanshika2023 for 20 percent off on their website you can also find all the links of the products in the description box below and if you shop from the dermaco they will link your order to a child that they help to educate along with bhumi they have pledged to you know educate more than 10,000 students across year so it's a great initiative as well I would also highly request you guys to follow these products up with the sunscreen for better protection and also do a patch test. All of these products from Dermaco are absolutely fragrance free which is a win-win. So let's get into the next step which is the primer. Okay, now that my skin is all prepped and ready for makeup, for the first step, I always go ahead with a luminous cream to give that sheen to my face. And right now I'm having a lot of, uh, you know, acne marks due to stress. So I'm using this Neutrogena Bright Boost. I really like it. It has some very small particles which works as like uh, pearls or give a luminous shine. You can also can you see the instant difference in my skin. Then I go ahead with a very nice primer. This one is the Nika Prep Me Up I have in the small version because I have been trying this out for a month now and I actually like it. So I might buy a full size. I just do on the T-zone. 
sorry for the background noise even though i'm shooting in night it always my home is on the ground floor and it's always so messy and then i go ahead with this insight concealer palette which i bought recently and i do my color correcting i actually don't need that much but right now i'm using it because uh, my skin is not doing so well as you can see so i go ahead with the orange one on my under eyes a little bit just and i take the green one for my redness like somewhere here i have a little bit of like a newly launched pimple here and then a little bit on this side so after i'm done concealing my base i go ahead with a bb or cc cream and my forever favorite concealers this one is from mars bb cream i am in the shade uh, i think the darkest shade it's a bit dark so i would suggest you go for a little light color and for swiss beauty my always my shade is 04 and 06 04 for the under eyes and 06 to cover all the darkness up so i'll do my base off camera and then i quickly come back and show you the next step now that my base is done i will go ahead with a setting powder this one is from maybelline fit me in the shade 25 and uh, it is a little yellow warm tone uh, face powder i like it more because it complements my skin if you are a fair skin tone then you can obviously go ahead with a lighter shade that would also work well for you but this particular product is like it just works magic on your skin so i'll set my under eyes and keep it for 30 seconds before dusting it off so i take a generous amount like this and then dab on the under eye area like this it will instantly matte everything up and also set all my concealer in one place next step has to be my eyebrows i do it first then bronzing my face and then doing the blush for that i'm using today this mars eyebrow set it contains one black one brown and one uh, transition shade and it also has a wax over here with a small applicator so let's see how it works so first of all i'll go ahead with the pencil and shape the brows Oh my god the color is too dark we very gentle and light strokes now i'll move ahead to bronzer i am using this rimmel london natural bronzer these are some of the new products also that i'm trying out and i actually love my base and how i do my makeup i do it very less to be honest recently it's been like once a month or once in two months but whenever i sit down and do like a proper makeup routine it's always a great time So this is the shade I'll just take on a fluffy brush like this dust the axis and then apply on the high points Okay now moving on to the eyes I will be using two to three different palettes today to create that perfect emerald green eye look so i'm using this one from nk birthday cake uh, it, it has nine different shades i really love the yellow one from this one for the transition so that it pops out it's like a day and night come look then i also have been using this newly k beauty bare soul palette and this is so beautiful the packaging and it has all the warm and neutral tones as you can see on the screen as well i'll also show you from the bag this how it looks It has all the neutrals and greens. I really like the shimmer shades and also the browns for the transition. And then absolutely I will be using my James Charles palette which you guys know how much I love. All the shades are here. This is pretty amazing. So let's get started by Katrina K Beauty palette and using this shade named Toast for the transition on the eyes. from your james charles palette this is dark green and light green and creating a very pretty transition on the eyes
shade from the NYX Ultimate Palette. I'm taking this very pretty green shade right over here. As you can see, this one's so pretty. Just taking a little bit on my hand and then swatching or placing it in the middle of the eye like this. So can you see, I just applied a little bit of dark green on the outer corners. Then I applied glitter in the inner corners and applied a little bit of emerald green on the lower lash line and smashed it out with the help of a kajal and this is it i'll just add a liner and falsies and get back and show you guys how it looks can you see the difference i've just applied on the outer corner to give it a little more lifted effect and this and this side i don't have anything just a little bit of different makes a lot Post applying lashes, I use this My Glam Mascara to give it a lifted effect. This is my favorite mascara since 6 months now and I think I'm going to destock it. I got it in PR and I absolutely love it. It makes your lashes look separated, not clumpy, lasts for a very long time and the best part is it is not waterproof and removed very very easily. Time for the final touch up. I'm using a blush. Uh, this one is from Peripera Powder Blush. I love powder blushes and it is a very nice uh, shade this is in sunshine cheek and you can always get it in discount it's a k beauty brand and then i'll put some highlighter and my lipstick that's it trio i'm using this wet and wild lip pencil in the shade chestnut then maybelline sensational matte lipstick in the shade nude guys nude because it will look really good with a heavy eye makeup and then my absolute favorite blue heaven lip plumping wand this helps to plump your lips and look super natural final look i hope you guys liked it uh it feels like a very day to night look you can pull it out in a day lunch or a night dinner and it looks absolutely perfect with ethnic or some western wear as well you can wear it on its own i really like this emerald emerald green eyes with a pop of gold in it to just you know add to the sheen and that's it you can get your hair styled according to the event and i think it's a very easy to do at home makeup look and this is how the final turned out i really like it it is just so me not to the top not to the bottom it's just the perfect amount of makeup that i like so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon down and comment down uh, your favorite makeup look or what color you want me to try next i've already done one with the blue and this one is the green one let me know in the comments the next part and i'll do it for you this is from the series from dab to fab in just 30 minutes so yeah i really like it thank you for watching bye